everyone, it's the Dex, and here I'm going to be continuing the FES series by talking about adding physics to an object in uh, Unity 3D. Uh, this is pretty much a basic uh, explanation about the Rigibody component, which adds physics to an object. Now, basically, let's first of all add a cube to our scene. So let's add a cube, and let's position this somewhere near the player just to explain properly, and put it a little bit in the air. If I play it, Uh, if you can see, the box does not fall down. Okay, so wait a minute. Every time when I move forward, this game freaking pauses. I don't even know how to fix that. Actually, I do know, but I'm just too lazy to do it. Okay, so anyways, the box is just midair, and even though I shoot it, nothing happens. If I take the missile launcher and shoot it, nothing happens. Now that is not cool. So we need to add physics to this object so that the object has a certain idea how the gravity in the area is and how to behave in that kind of gravity. So go, go select the cube, component, physics, rigidbody. Okay, and we get the rigidbody component right over there. Now, let's explain probably the most important settings. Mass is how heavy the object is. It's currently set to 1, which is normal. Now drag. When the drag is 0, now let me show you how it is once we add the rigid body component there, the box falls down. We just move forward and disable this there. Okay. So the box fell down and if we shoot at it, the box moves. If you can see. And if I take a bazooka, see the box collides with the missile launcher and actually moves. So let me shoot it one more time. I didn't position this right. There we go. Okay. Now, if I increase the drag, what it basically does, it slows down the speed of the object. Just look closely now. Uh, okay, look at the editor view. It, it fell down a little bit more slow. And also what it does, it actually... You can see now, no matter how much I'm shooting at it, it doesn't really move much further as before the drag was zero. If I choose the missile launcher and shoot at it, see it moves less and it moves slower. So make sure your drag is at zero unless you're creating a space game. You want to set the ma mass to a little bit lower and use gravity, which is also another important uh, setting to disable. Now if we disable the use gravity feature, the box will behave like as if there's no gravity at all at all in the level, which means like you're in space. Now here's how it works. If I shoot at it, it's just gonna move in that direction. So what I mean is when there's no gravity at all. If I touch the object and it'll start rotating, it's just gonna keep on rotating and rotating and rotating until some force actually stops it. And if I shoot a missile launcher, now it's just gonna keep on going at the same speed as it got hit and gonna rotate the same amount of times as it got hit. It's never gonna slow down unless it's gonna go really really slow and as you can see it's just going off the level. So unless you're making a space game uh, you wanna keep use gravity. And freeze rotation basically doesn't enable any rotation to the object whatsoever. So if, uh, if I shoot the object with a missile launcher then See, it doesn't rotate. Now I would suggest adding rotation just to make it more realism. And the best part is this component, the good thing is it saves time without doing any much of scripting or whatever, as this component can uh, help add physics for the object for you. Now this is not only for a cube, you know. So let me just select the spaceship. Okay, I'm going to remove the animations from it okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a uh, we have to okay anyways let's add a rigid body as usual add okay let's leave everything as it is now let's see what happens sometimes this may happen probably I'm not sure something strange could happen it just goes through. How are we going to fix that? 
Well, we're going to go to component physics mesh collider. Very important. Okay. Now, material is what kind of material is your object? It's metal. It's a spaceship. We're going to select convex smooth sphere collisions. Okay. And the mesh is the kind of object that you have. Now, tch, this is a lot. So what I'm going to do is I just found another way. Passenger ship. And you're going to browse for this folder. Okay. Just select it and clear off everything in the search uh, text box. Okay. You should directly go to that folder. Okay. And now your passenger ship object is this one, right? Well, you can extend it and there you get are the two meshes. Now we need to select polysurface one for one. So this is what I'm going to do. The passenger ship, the mesh, we're going to drag this polysurface one for one, which is the total body of the ship. And we're going to fill up the mesh variable. Okay, so as you can see, you can see these green lines. And now let's test it. Uh, and there we go, it just lands normally. And we have no problem with that now. Oh, even if I shoot at it, it moves forward. And if I use a missile launcher, then it moves a bit forward. Now, this is the fun part. If you're going to reduce a lot of mass in this, let's make this 0.25. Okay, let's continue. Oh, why is this happening? Yeah, the ship fell down, but if I shoot at it, it should now move a lot more since the mass is less. Boom, boom. And just think what would happen if I use a missile launcher. Hmm, let's find out. Okay, not really that surprising. But I'm sure if you reduce the mass, I'm sure it will be a lot more. So, yeah, that's about it about the rigid body component. And coming soon is a create. Okay, this next Unity series created a racing game in Unity 3D. Yes, Unity has re released a tutorial on it, and I'm going to be doing a video on it. And hope you subscribe until uh, the until I upload the videos. So can't wait for that. I actually downloaded it and tried it out. It's amazing what you get with it. So can't wait to show you all about it. Okay, so anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, watch and subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.